Jim Baker is, of course, a criminal and a con man and a disgraced televangelist. And he had on his new show, yes, he has a new show, because that's the world we live in, uh, the lunatic radio host Rick Wiles to make some hysterical anti-American arguments. So let's watch this and try your best as you're listening here to imagine this through the eyes of a dingbat right winger. So listen to this and put yourself in the mind of a right winger and imagine that you get a steady diet of this every day for a few years. We have outlawed God. Our Supreme Court has outlawed God. You can't put up the Ten Commandments. Used to be they were the basis of law, basis of the courts. Not anymore. What has happened to America? Jim, I said on the program 15 years ago, at least 15 years ago, I said there is a day coming. I said this is going to be the scariest scene you can ever imagine. There is a day coming when our military will be a pagan atheist army. And you, Mr. And Mrs. Christian, will be the enemy. Do you think when the military has chased all the Christians out, all the God-fearing men, when they've chased them out, locked them up, whatever, do you think then when you have a... a Antichrist man in the White House, whether it's this one or a future one, and he tells a atheistic, God-hating military, these Christians are enemies of the state. Do you think it would be hard for them to round us up? They, they'll be doing their patriotic duty. They've already listed the Christians. Yes. That's right. With the enemies. That's right. When you were asking, how is this happening? This Third Reich is here. This Nazism is here. Okay, it's springing up. It's scary. Well, listen, the rest of the world sees it. The Russians are referring to us as the Nazis. If you read carefully what the Russians are saying, if you translate their Russian speeches into English, they're talking about the new Nazis. We finally figured out what it takes to make right-wingers support Russia to elect President Barack Obama. Just have a black Democrat in office in America, and all of a sudden the people who hated the Soviet Union and hated Russia, now nah, they're like, look, their propaganda calls us, us Nazis, so it must be true. Listen to how insane these people are. Now think about what I told you before the clip there. I said, imagine you are one of these ultra-right-wingers. Put yourself in that person's shoes and listen to this stuff. Dude, this talk gets dangerous, man. Because if anybody actually believes what they're saying, and there are people in America who believe what they're saying, well, goddamn, this is where you get the radicalization that leads to people joining the Sovereign Citizens Movement, which is the homegrown domestic terrorist movement. This is how you get the stat that we talk about all the time, how 56% of the, the terrorist attacks and attempted terrorist attacks in the United States of America are done by right-wingers. It's because of hysterical lunatics like this who people listen to and they think they're giving some sort of expert analysis. Let's break some of this stuff down, man. He said, uh, we have outlawed God. SCOTUS has outlawed God. Really? I missed the memo. So The Supreme Court outlawed God. How? What are you talking about? So now everybody's mandated by law to be an atheist? That, that's not my spin on it. I'm giving you a quote. Quote, we outlawed God. The Supreme Court has outlawed God. No, they didn't. You made that up. He said, the Ten Commandments was the basis of law. No, it wasn't. You made that up. Only like, what is it, two of the Ten Commandments? At most, three of the Ten Commandments are laws? The other is shit like, don't worship on... Uh, Sunday, or I'm sorry, don't worship false gods, um, honor your mother and father, stupid shit like that. Only two or, th two or three of them are laws. He's like, that was the basis of law was the Ten Commandments. Again, that's not true. You made that up because you're a Christian dingbat. Then he said, the military is a uh, pagan and atheist army. The overwhelming majority of the people in the military are Christian. 
And if anything, there's a problem in the other direction right now in the military. There are these stories of these Christian dominionists in the army who are basically like the Christian Taliban who are uber-religious and they're, you know, the people who are stationed in other countries and there's the fear that they might go rogue and do crazy shit in the name of their religion because they believe in this crazy version of fundamentalism. The, the problem is not the atheists in the military. The problem is certainly not the pagans in the military. I'd be surprised if there's one person who describes himself as a pagan in the U.S. military. But again, this is the kind of nonsense that these guys spew every day because they're just not that smart. They're stupid people who make up conspiracy theories and they run with it and they've totally let go of empirical reality, of objective reality. And by the way, even if, let's say the army was, for argument's sake, let's say it was 60% atheist. It's not. It's nowhere near that. But let's say it was that. No, notice the assumption these guys make. Well, if they're atheists, they're obviously going to come and round up all the Christians and kill us. The fuck are you... No! No! And this all goes back to tribalism again. We're the good guys. Everybody else is the bad guys. The Muslims are bad. Uh, the... Atheists are bad, and if they have any kind of power, they're obviously going to kill all of us, and they're obviously going to, you know, oppress us. Now, why do they think that way? Because that's how they think! So they're projecting onto you! So they think, like, well, if we have control of everything, fuck yeah, I'd set up a Christian theocracy. Fuck yeah, I'd outlaw atheism and kick out the Muslims from the country. Fuck yeah, I'd do that. So they're afraid that, you know, atheists would treat them that way. But we're smarter than you! We're not going to do that! Then he says, the military is going to round up Christians totally made up, they're, a major they're majority Christian, the president is Christian, the overwhelming majority of people in government are Christian, uh, the government listed Christians with the enemies. So they listed themselves as the enemy. Yeah, that's the problem in America. Our government is just totally anti-Christian. No, you know what it is? They view, uh, they view it as oppression if you tell them they can't force their religion on you and everybody else in society. So if we can't set up a Christian theocracy that abides by their version of Christianity, then you're oppressing them if you don't allow them to set that up. But that's not oppression. In this case, the oppressors very clearly are you.